Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 6 of our TypeScript Fundamentals video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about working with anonymous and lambda functions. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 5 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. Alright, so let's get started. Anonymous functions. A function which don't have a name or identifier is considered as an anonymous function. So these functions are dynamic and are called during runtime. So the anonymous function, if you ask me how it looks like, it's going to look something like this. You can see that it has a function keyword there, but it is not followed by the name of the function. You can see the name of the function is missing. But it has the same kind of parameters that we discussed in our previous video and it has a written value like first name plus last name, right? It's pretty same except you don't have a function name there and you're assigning the function directly to a variable and you are working with it, which is pretty much the same thing, right? So the function which has no name is anonymous function. That's the very simple way to understand this thing. And there is another function declaration, which is nothing but the arrow function or lambda functions. So a lambda refers to anonymous function in programming, but the lambda functions are a concise mechanism to represent anonymous function. These functions are also called as an arrow function. So if you ask how the arrow function looks like in TypeScript, it's gonna look something like this. You can see that there is no function keyword this time even the function keyword is ruled out and it has only the parameters and there is a fat arrow there and that's the arrow function right so it's just an arrow there and then there is a block of code and that's why there is a braces there and it has a written f name plus last name right pretty much the same thing that we saw in this particular function it's going to perform the same thing except the function keyword is missing, right? And there is a arrow that you can see in here. That's the arrow function. So let's quickly see a demo and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio Code. So this is the same code that we have been working so long in our previous videos. So I'm just going to stop this execution for now. And what I can do is maybe I can just do a separation here because we're just running out of a lot of course now so i'm gonna say functions advanced here and there is one more separation cool and now for the functions which is nothing but the anonymous function i'm just gonna do something like this maybe i'm gonna say let student name is equal to so i'm gonna create a anonymous function this time so I'm just going to ignore the name of the function, but I'm just going to create an anonymous function with the function keyword there. And then I'm going to say L name, and you don't really have to specify the type due to the type interference. It is automatically going to, type, going to take the type if you don't really pass it. So I can just leave it. But for the best practice in TypeScript, you don't you you must specify the type, which is how. TypeScript is strongly emphasizing to pass the type there. So you need to pass that. But even if you don't, it is okay. So L name and F name. So last name and first name there. And then I'm gonna say string type. And here I'm just gonna return the L name or maybe F name plus L name, right? Something like this. So in order to call this particular function, all I have to do is, since it is assigned to this particular variable student name, you can just hover a mouse over here and you can see that it is actually showing you a fat arrow there, like student name colon L name of string, F name of string, fat arrow of string. So actually the arrow is missing out there because of the resolution maybe. So there is a fat arrow and this is going to say string. So the return type of this particular student name variable is actually string. This is otherwise called as function expression as well. 
so how to call this I'm actually going to do something like this student name see the intelligence is actually showing me what it is and if I open the parentheses here you can see it says L name comma F name right so the L name is going to be KK and F name is going to be Karthik right so now if I just save this and if I do F5 you can see that it is going to print the value oops it is not going to print any value because I should have did a console.log which is something I missed so console.log of this particular method now if I do F5 we can see it is going to print Karthik dot 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 kk so it is actually printing this particular value from this particular function so this is how the anonymous function is actually working the next thing which we're going to discuss is the arrow function this is something which we'll be using a lot in the course of this video because it is very very interesting and you will be ending up using this a lot in this particular course so I would say this is very very cool as well so what I'm going to do for the arrow function is basically I'm going to write the same piece of code maybe I can just even copy paste this code so I'm just going to copy and I'm going to paste it over here but this time instead of the function keyword I'm just going to remove that guy and I'm going to use the fat arrow you saw that little intelligence over there right that's exactly it is that's what exactly I'm doing right now this time and I'm gonna close the parenthesis and instead of the student name because it's of same uh, type and it cannot be redeclared in the let keyword so I'm just gonna say student full name something like this I'm gonna save it right so you can see that the function keyword is also missing this time with the am with the arrow function and there is a fat arrow over here right and now to differentiate I'm going to remove one period and now if I just do a console dot log now to call this again the same thing you need to pass the student full name and then you can pass the value over there maybe I can just call kk Prashant. Yep. And now if I just do an F5, oops, let me stop this. And if I do F5 this time, you can see that Prashant KK is also been printing over here. So this is something we are working with the error function, and this is the anonymous function. So this is the other two way of working with functions in TypeScript. Right. So in our previous video, we saw how to work with the function declaration, rest parameters and default parameters. And these are the functions. And this time we are working with the anonymous functions and the arrow function. Right. So this ends the functions in TypeScript. From our next video, we'll start discussing how to work with interfaces and also how to reinforce this type instead of passing an any of a for our guest student list right so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day